All right, y'all, we are back with another video. And this one is coming from Benny as well. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go click on and go show Benny some love. And he got this one that called a Trump official leaves the Democrats shaking. And he he uh burst out and tells them that you work for me, I'm a taxpayer. Now, when I seen this title, I definitely had to jump on to see exactly what is going on. We already know all the messed up stuff that Trump is going through right now, even though he's doing a good job fighting through it. He's getting out of uh, every situation they try to uh, put him in. So that's the reason why I kept saying that Trump is a warrior. He's not going to hold back. He's not going to let these liberals and Democrats. Uh, he's not going to let them put him down. It's just not going to happen. And I'm going to stand on that. Trump 2024. I don't care about the Democrats trying to get Joe Biden out the office because they think Michelle Obama is going to take out Donald Trump. Like I said before, it don't matter who they try to get. Donald Trump is still going to win. And I'm going to stand on that. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody that been leaving positive comments in the comment section and i also want to thank everybody that clicked on this video for the very first time i appreciate you as well for being here without further ado let's dive straight into it like i said before make sure y'all hit that like button so more people can see this video the more y'all hit that like button the more people will see this video and i really appreciate it without further ado let's dive straight into it y'all let's go is there anything you'd like to respond to what you've heard today yeah, I'd like to respond to Acting Chairman Jay Paul and your comment about the Trump administration moving money around for more detention beds. I'd like to remind you under the Obama administration, we did that most of the years he was president. We moved money around DHS, it's called reprogramming. Mm. We did that under the Obama administration. I, didn't, I don't remember any hearings on that. And also I'd like to remind you that, that under the Obama administration, I mean, you're quick to point out that the cages were built under Obama administration. I was there. Family detention. We had 100 family beds under Obama administration. We built 3,000 more. So when there was a surge in FY14 and FY15 on the border, Congress was quick to give all the money we needed to build detention facilities, get transportation contracts. We reprogrammed money out of the majority of the years he was president. That was fine. Under Obama administration, FY12, we removed 409,000 people, half of what was removed last year. There was no hearings on that. So I, I, you know, if this is about transparency. Let's be, let's be mm -hmm. factual about it. The time of the gentleman has expired. Since you did address some comments at me, I'll just say that I didn't like it under the Obama administration either. In fact, well, be I honest with the American people. You, you can't point out faults in the Trump administration when it happened Mr. under Holman. Obama administration. That's dishonesty. It's pathetic and it's sad. Mr. Holman, I control the time and I am the chairwoman of the committee. Thank you for respecting that. Um, I didn't like it under the wow. Obama administration, and I'll remind you, Mr. Holman, that you also testified before Congress in support of the Obama's priorities enforcement program before the Senate Judiciary Committee on May 19th, 2016, which had a very different approach. Well, can, that, I respond, can I respond that, to that? that? Can I respond I to that? No. Of course not. not. With I want to give you some time, but I, I do want to ask one uh, a quick question, and I, and I want to make one quick statement. I, I find it very offensive that anybody would compare uh, any federal employee, frankly, to uh, someone who uh, the Gestapo or uh, running Nazi concentration camps. That is very offensive. I have 15 seconds and I yield it to you. Thank you for saying that. I wish somebody in Democratic leadership would say that out loud. Wow. Look, there you, you go. want to know why there's 50,000 people in detention? You want to know why we have a million, million, one million illegal entries in the United States? You want to know why have these issues? Because you have failed to secure the border. You have failed to work with this president to close the three loopholes we've asked for two years to close. I'm so if you want to know why this issue expired. exists, you need to look in the mirror. You, need, the you have failed American expired. people Mr. who are not Holman. securing the border and closing the loopholes. Mr. Holman, look, please you, respect the chair and the authority you know, of the chair the time been, of the gentleman has expired i've asked you gentleman politely to let me go beyond my my time and you let other people go beyond their time but not, not to tom Holman. he don't get me go have, beyond his time mr Holman. we have this, this approved is, this, this is an circus. agreement this is between the republicans and the democrats with the ranking member we increased the time Bro. of one witness at uh, one uh, member of congress who was interrupted by a protest that is done with the approval of the ranking member please respect the chair's authority the general respect woman, the chair's authority the but the chair mr holman the, the, you work for me. me i'm a taxpayer this one i'm a taxpayer crazy. you work for me oh, 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 oh i like that one 
He said, I'm a taxpayer. You work for me. Let's go. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. It sure is fun to show you clips from Congress where communists are challenged. The mm -hmm. communist in that clip is Pramia Jayapal, who took her little gavel and said, yeah. Excuse me. You have no free speech here. You have no constitutional rights here. I am a Marxist. I come from the area of the entire country in Seattle, and I want to speak now, and I want you to be silent. It's right. so interesting when a Marxist gets challenged, especially by Thomas Homan, who is a total G. This guy is a total G. Thomas Homan. He was head of ICE for Donald Trump. He's a law enforcement professional, has been a, a law enforcement professional and police officer for the better part of 40 years. Wow. Uh, and he was appointed to be the uh, ICE Immigration and Customs Enforcement Officer for Donald Trump. Did a uh, damn good job. He was also given an award by uh, Barack Obama as a distinguished executive. Oh, my. So uh, Washington Post said of Homan, Thomas Homan deports people and he's really good of it, at it. Mm. Great job. Because if you break the law of our country, well, then something should happen to you and that should be that you uh, leave this country. That is why on November 14th, to, uh, 2017, uh, Trump nominated Homan for ICE director and he did a fantastic job. He was there during a, uh, obviously during a congressional testimony uh, where he testified about the horrors that illegal immigration unfettered has uh, wrought upon this country. And Libs should have actually listened to him because now Libs are screaming out. Libs are screaming out. We'll play you a clip in just a second of what people from Chicago are saying about the illegal immigrants that are coming into their communities to okay. take away their power, is what they say. It's amazing. If, if, if you're a different race... If you're a race that the racist corporate media uh, wants to attack, then you can't talk about issues like that. But uh, the black people of Chicago are saying it outright. When you bring illegal criminal migrants into our communities, you reduce our political power, you reduce our voice, you reduce our economic power, and you take away um, the potential for our children and for us. That's what they're saying in Chicago. Don't take my word for it. Listen. All these resources that have not come to us, now you want to overly compensate right. for people who never lived here before, yeah, and they yeah. really need to be yeah. taken yeah. care of first and foremost before anything else happens yeah. here. Right. Yeah. Why would any leader put our black communities already riddled with crime at further risk by placing unvetted non-taxpayers steps away from our, our seniors? Our children and our homes, we've worked so hard on our own to secure. We are at war, people. Our communities are at war. They are violating our communities, and we asking that we have, we across the country, we asking and we demanding for office of black America, or whatever you want to call it, to deal with issues like this. Uh, I did get placed on a wait list, but I was told that the immigrants were taking priority. See, that's a story that a lot of people don't know, and it just, it hurt me. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. That <laughs> said, get the immigrants, get them up out of here. Get them up out of here. They trying to come change everything. They ain't going for that. And another thing I, I liked about Mr. Holman is that I love the words that he told that judge. Because it seemed like she, every time he was making so much sense, she was trying to cut him off, hit a little hammer and all that stuff. And I love the last thing he said to her. You work for me. I'm a taxpayer. I just love those words right there, man. I love those words by him. Man. Let's take it back, though, because, like I said, they are mad. You know, you got uh, legal immigrants coming to your uh City and stuff like that. Let's see what they got to say. We across the country, we asking and we demanding for office of Black America, or whatever you want to call it, to deal with issues like this. That's right. That's right. Uh, I did get placed on a wait list, but I was told that the immigrants were taking priority. Oh. See, that's a story that a lot of people don't know, and it just it hurt me. I'm like, oh wait a minute. I understand we need to be humanitarian, 
but these people are that my participant are third and fourth generation Chicagoan, born, bred, fed, and raised here. My grandmother, Mayrella Carrington, rest like in peace. Like they're saying, though, like, let, like y'all take care of us. Forget these the immigrants that, that's trying to come here. Forget them. Take care of us. We've been here. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to realize, like, people going to always speak out no matter what uh, state you in, city, town. It don't matter. When something like this is happening, when you got a league of immigrants and all they're trying to come to your town, like, people get in an uproar. They don't play about that. If they got to form a group or, or whatever they have to do to let you know what's going on, they're going to do it. They are going to do it. Always said oh, that the immigrants were taking priority. No, no, no. That's a story that a lot of people don't know. And it just, it hurt me. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I understand we need to be humanitarian, but these people are that my participant mm -hmm. are third and fourth generation Chicagoan. Born, bred, fed, and raised here. My grandmother, Mayrella Carrington, rest in peace, always said, Craig, charity starts at home first, and then it go abroad. Politically, having over 500 people in our community would completely wipe out any interest we have. Many of these migrants have been dumped in our neighborhoods without a plan in place to monitor and house them long term. I'm not yeah, selling preach. nothing. And yep. I keep telling people, we don't have to move. If you sell, they're going to come in. If yep. you don't sell, we got to stand strong. And That's right. We just get started. Move, we don't but it's not just in Chicago. It's inside of cities that, of course, voted for Joe Biden, voted for these policies. So you get nothing. You get absolutely no empathy or sympathy from me, mm -mm. ladies and gentlemen. NYC tourism season this summer could be a hot mess if migrants occupy too many hotels. Now, what's that all about? Well, apparently, half of the hotel rooms in New York City are now filled. See, that's why people are mad. When you let any migrants and stuff come and just take over everything. Adam claims nearly half of all NYC hotel rooms now filled by migrants, but numbers don't quite add up. And then you see the reason why people are in a uproar. You see why people are mad which they should be by migrants, mm. according to the mayor of New York City, Eric Adams. In an effort to illustrate the severity of the migrant uh, crisis, Eric Adams, who voted for Joe Biden and wants mm. these policies for all New Yorkers, let us remind you, said that nearly half of all hotel rooms in New York are now occupied by migrants seeking asylum. Adams has come under fire in several days for his administration's latest attempts to fi find housing for 60,000 migrants. Mm. that have either come to New York because Joe Biden shipped them there on a plane or come to New York because states like Texas and Florida shipped them there on planes. And, well, you're a sanctuary city, so shouldn't you be a sanctuary, Mr. Man? Well, what are we looking at here with the raw data? Monthly encounters with migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border remain at record highs. This is according to Pew Research Center, hardly a right-wing think tank. Yep. You can see here in the raw data that... Since the year 2000, this is where this data goes back to, the year 2000, we haven't seen such spikes in migrant cases. And then what you see here is you see spikes and dips and spikes and dips, right? Because you have like various levels of enforcement. And then you get here to the Donald Trump uh, mm. inauguration and it falls down to literally near zero because Donald Trump enforced our laws. This is what it looks like to enforce our laws right there. And then here comes Joe Biden right here. There you go. Here comes Joe Biden. Boom. That's the thing, man. It's like, like I said before, it's like Joe Biden just messed up everything. We wouldn't be surprised if Joe Biden was the one shipped them there. We, we wouldn't be surprised if Joe Biden was the one that sent the migrants. Like, we wouldn't be surprised. This man that did a lot of messed up stuff since he'd been in office. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why, he, like, his own side is turning on him. They know this man that did messed up stuff. He's been doing it since he's been in office. Reason why Trump should have been there in the first place if people didn't lie on Donald Trump. Donald Trump was lied on. It was the only reason Joe Biden won. So that's the reason why I told you I said this in the beginning. I stand on what I say. I don't care who they try to get to go against Donald Trump. You can go get Michelle Obama. You can go get Barack. Go get any other president you want. Ain't now one of them going to beat Donald Trump.
That's the reason why they're trying to kick him out the running. That's why they're trying to get him locked up. Like a lot of stuff that didn't happen, Trump wouldn't let that happen. Since Biden been in office, it's just like all of them broke loose. Look at that skyrocket, and it has not stopped since. Oh. This is what happens when you actually apprehend people mm. and ex and expel people, but Joe Biden isn't doing that. The gold is the expulsion under Title 42, saying there's a global pandemic going on, so we can't have just the unwashed masses of the world flooding across our borders. Uh, Joe Biden is not expelling anyone anymore. And then here is the most border encounters that involve people that are not from Mexico or the Northern Triangle. Mm. This is essentially like the entire rest of the world coming and pouring into our country, uh, including people on the terrorist watch list. Single adults have driven have driven mm. increase in migrant encounters during COVID-19 pandemic. So apparent, So these are like economic migrants who are single males, military age males, that are now making up the vast majority of the people coming across the border. Single adults, you can see here, uh, people traveling in family units, you can see here, it's a very small number, unaccompanied minors, teeny, teeny number there. So very inconvenient data for the people that are trying to lie to you. Marjorie Taylor Greene has introduced articles of impeachment for Joe Biden, articles of impeachment for Alejandro Mayorkas as well. Uh, following the terrorist apprehensions at our southern border. Mayorkas is accused of willful admittance of immigrant, uh, illegal immigrants, drugs, illegal human traffickers, immigrants. terrorists, and deadly fentanyl across our southern border. Third time Republicans have introduced impeachment articles against Secretary Mayorkas. And, um, well, hopefully it'll be the last. Hopefully people actually gain some uh, stones in Congress and impeach this bastard. We'll see. But till then, we'll be calling for it right here on this show. Yes, we will. It's nice to bring up um, some old clips of actual fire and brimstone inside the halls of Congress and some real based actors like Thomas Holman. Uh, hopefully he gets appointed in the next Republican administration. because the Shout out to Benny, man, with another great video. As you can see, people was not happy about all the migrants coming, taking up, you know, houses and... Uh, uh, getting all the hotel rooms like people will get in the uproar they don't play about that like I said no matter what state you in so y'all get in the comment section uh, let me know what y'all think about all of this man y'all know I'm always keep y'all up to uh, tune of what's going on and I always appreciate Benny I always make sure I show my respect towards this man you know I put his link in the description make sure y'all go uh, check him out and uh, I will continue to bring y'all these videos and keep y'all updated with everything. But like I said, I want to thank you all uh, for watching. Everybody that stayed to the end, I appreciate you as well. Like I said, I'll catch y'all in the next one.